Welcome to the Miami Heat Zone podcast. I'm your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. And if you're an NBA fan, subscribe to the channel. And thank you for all the support. So DeMarcus Cousins says, when it comes to Donovan Mitchell, I think he's a perfect piece for Miami. Obviously, they need the offense. They have the defense in place. I think Donovan Mitchell makes that team so much better, a huge threat in the league. First of all, DeMarcus Cousins should be in the NBA right now. I honestly think that the Miami Heat should have picked him up a few seasons ago. What he's able to do at the center position, rebounding, his uh, mid-range game, an overall great big man, and I'm pretty sure he could still come in the league right now and give people some buckets. But I do think he's right when it comes to Donovan Mitchell. I just think that, first of all, Donovan Mitchell has to say he wants to come to the Miami Heat. There's a bunch of teams that are definitely going to arise that are going to want Donovan Mitchell. I think the New York Knicks may be out of the conversation only because they gave up a few of their assets for um, you know, OG Ananobi. I just don't think they'll be able to do it. I know that the Brooklyn Nets were on the table of wanting Donovan Mitchell, and we obviously know the Miami Heat as well. Now, when the Cavs got Donovan Mitchell, they gave away a pretty good amount of assets, Laurie Marketing, some other role players, and some picks. So you know good and well, if they're not able to convince Donovan Mitchell, which I don't think they're going to be able to, because overall, I just don't think that team's going to work. It looks really good on paper. They have a lot of talent when it comes to Jared Allen, Mobley, Garland. I just think that that's they have too small of a backcourt with Donovan Mitchell and Garland. Their wings, they don't really perform enough, and none of them can guard efficient enough in the playoffs, in my opinion. They're definitely going to have to make a trade. They're definitely going to have to make a move to try to convince Donovan, but I just don't think he's staying. So first of all, he's going to have to come out and say he wants to go to the Miami Heat. Now, this is where it puts some of the leverage in the Miami Heat's hands because now you know that teams are going to try to ask for Jaime, which he's off the table. You know, then secondly, they're going to ask definitely at least for Jovic, uh, you know, maybe Caleb Martin if they do re-sign him in the summer, Tyler Hero, and all their picks. My thing is, are we willing to trade for Donovan Mitchell? I just don't think the Miami Heat will do it. It just depends on who the Cavs ask for. You know, I know for a fact, like I said, they gave up a lot of assets to get a guy in Donovan Mitchell. So they're going to ask for Jaime. And like I said, Jaime Hawkins Jr. is off the table, in my opinion. I just think that with Donovan Mitchell on this Miami Heat team, it does solve some of the consistent scoring problems. Because I like Tyler Hero. He's a great young player at 23 years old. But can he be consistent enough when it counts? Can he perform with Bam Adebayo, with Jimmy Butler on a high enough level to where he makes himself untradeable? Because he did say that during the summer. Tyler Hero wants to be in the same conversation where... He's untradeable with Bam Adebayo and Jimmy. Can Tyler Hero be consistent enough? When Tyler Hero gets, you know, guarded by lengthier and stronger defenders, is it going to be a noticeable difference in his efficiency with his shooting, with him getting to the rim? Can he be a good enough scorer? Can he be a great enough player for the Miami Heat to where we don't need Donovan Mitchell? I don't know if I am 110%, con- you know, uh can say, okay, yeah, listen, we don't need him at all. We don't need Donovan Mitchell. Because like I said, Tyler Hero shows sometimes in his games where he is very inefficient, he gets clamped up. I just don't know right now at this point. But like I said, and like what Boogie said, I think that Donovan Mitchell would be a perfect fit next to Bam and Jimmy Butler. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 3,000 subscribers.